Welcome back to the Crochet Crowd. It's host my friends over at Yarnspirations.com. I'm your host Mikey. Today we are going to continue Jeannie's journey with the Thursday Square. Thursday Square is a little bit interesting on how it starts off. Jeannie didn't hold back on this particular one. So I, we're gonna give you two options today because we don't want you really to quit. So the option that you see in the pattern here is actually this. So it's got the raised lips like here to give a nice 3D texture. However to get this is a little bit of a mine throw. It took me a little bit to understand it. So if you feel you're going to quit and you still love this square then what you can do is just do this. And what I'm gonna do is that when we get there on round number two I'm going to show you this first and then I'm going to demonstrate on how it's actually really done in the pattern. So we're gonna give you two options just in case that this is not gonna work for you. So let's get uh, on with it today using three colors uh, in my sample today. It's uh, A is lilac, B is azure and C is rose. Using a six millimeter size J crochet hook I'm using Karen one pound today. Jeannie did her pattern in, in red heart with love. So without further ado let's get started. So I'm going to get started in rounds one, two and three with the easier way of doing it and we're just gonna create a slip knot to begin. So for those that wanna exit through the gift shop really quickly this is the way to do it. So we're going to chain two, one and two and second chain from the hook I want you to put in eight single crochets. So we'll count those together. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven and eight. Once you have your eight in you may wanna verify that. So just count it backwards. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven and eight. Slip stitch it to the eighth one back and then we're going to begin round number uh, round number two. Remember what I'm showing here here is not written in the pattern. It's just for those that need an exit through the gift shop really quick. Let's do that next in round number two. In the exit through the gift shop real quick we're going to just chain three and then in each stitch all the way around there's only eight stitches. There's going to be two double crochets in each of those going around. So please do that if you're interested and I'll see you at the end of this round. We'll slip stitch and then move on to round number three. So as we come around to number two just slip stitch it to the top of the chain three. So let's begin exit through the gift shop number three. That's just a way of saying it's simpler. So for the third round you're going to chain three. Counts as your double crochet and you will double crochet into the same one. So consider that two into the same one. So then the next one is one double crochet by itself and then the next one has two. And then the next one has one by itself and then the next one has two and you're gonna do that all the way around. So coming all the way around the last one is a double crochet into the last one. This one here is not included as a stitch because it's part of the first one so don't include that. And what you can do is then just slip stitch to the top of the chain three. You now officially can move on to round number four and the round number four all the way to the end now is the pattern as written. So you can do that. So here's your exit through the gift shop and without further ado let's go back to round number one again and start it and let's begin to do the fun ride next. So you'll be needing to be this tall <laughs> in order to ride this ride. So let's begin that one next. So let's begin again. We're doing round number one and this is actually the pattern as written. So now you have the exit to the gift shop version and now this is the real version. So I need you to chain two and then eight single crochets into the first one. So one, two, three, four. Go right up over top of that straggler to capture it in. This is five, six, seven and eight. Once you have that done verify there is actually eight because that's important. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven and eight. When you get around here here's the deal. You need to go into the front loop. Now because I'm a tight crochet in this very beginning I get a smaller hook and I go onto that eighth one that's back and I only grab the front loop only just to pull that loop through and then release that hook, put it on here and pull it through. Mm -hmm. Magic. So before we begin our next round what we need to do is get ourselves set up. We're gonna be doing rounds 2A and then 2B and then that's <laughs> the story from this point. So let's do that next. So now that we're here I've now uh, attached to the front loop of the first stitch. I need you to put in a stitch marker going through both of those loops. 
at this point. And this is going to signal to me next time I'm coming around here. So round 2a and 2b is using the same round, round number 1, but the first one, 2a, we're using the front loops only and 2b, we're using the back loops only. So when I get all the way around, I know exactly where I'm starting and stopping. So let's begin then officially and start round number 2a. So 2a, really quite simple, just chain 3 and moving to the next one and go into the front loop only. It may be a little bit tight for you, so just take your time, there's no rush and go into the front loop only and slip stitch. Sometimes I'm so tight here. How tight are you? <laughs> Real tight. So I get, I just did it backwards of going into the hook and then I slip stitch. So one, two, three, moving to the next one and if you feel yourself too tight, this is why there's a hook, you can just get in through another way. And I need you to do that all the way around to where you had started here. And so there should be t a total of seven of these and I'll show you how to do the eighth one as we move on to 2B which will be then playing on the back loops. So I now have seven of these loops. There should be a total of eight. So the eighth one is one, two, three and instead of, there's no front loop to go into because you need to kind of attach it to the beginning but you're not attaching at this point. But do you see where this is going through? When you turn it over you can see where that stitch marker is. That's the back loop of the first stitch and that's where you're going to slip stitch and then begin 2B from that point. So you see it kind of overlaps a little bit and you have eight of these uh, jetting out pieces and we're moving on to 2B. So right where we are in 2B, to be or not to be, is that we are going to chain three. So one, two, three and in the same back loop, so just fold this forward so you can see it, you're going to put in another double crochet. So here's the fun part. The going to the next stitch, it's right there, right in front of you, is there's going to be two double crochets in each of the back loops going around. So, so I've just come all the way around and there's eight sets of two double crochets in each. When you slip stitch it, slip stitch it to the front loop of the first chain three and that will conclude that. And before you move on to this, just pull that up and just grab another hook or whatever and just go in both of those stitches or both of those loops of the there and pull that stitch marker through. The one that is kind of sitting in there. So get both of those so that you'll be able to see where you need to go next time. To begin, you're going to chain three. So one, two and three and then just moving to the next front loop only, you're going to slip stitch and then chain three. So one, two, three and then move to the next one, front loop only and do that all the way around. So I'll meet you close to the other round. There will be a total of 16 of these chain three um, spaces but the 16th one is created when you go to jump to um, starting 3B. So I'm just coming around 3A. So I now have officially 15 of these chain 3 spaces. So just uh, chain 3 and do your very last one which will be in the back loop of the beginning one that's been marked with the stitch marker. So just fold it in front and get the back loop of that one. I did this before without the stitch markers and I was confused on where to go. So that's why I'm having you do that. So once you're there, we're now going to do what we kind of did before. We're gonna fill in uh, 3B with double crochets that will solidify this circle. So 3B is just chain three and then you're going to double crochet into the same back loop of that beginning one. So like the other squares that we did, the next one is one double crochet by itself and then the next back loop is two double crochets into the same one. And that's gonna be your repeat pattern going all the way. So the next one is one by itself and then the one after that is two into the same one. So please do that all the way around. Make sure that you have 24 double crochets. So if you're off by something, just fake it but just make sure that you have 24 of these double crochets and it should work out for you anyway. But in case it doesn't, just fake it or make it right. So I'll see you at the end of this round. This is 3B. So just come around 3B. It looks like there's gonna be a space there but when you fold it like this but you don't. So you're just going to then slip stitch it to the regular chain that you normally have and therefore you can pull out your stitch markers. I have officially verified already before doing this that there was 24 of these double crochets that went around and so now I have a raised lip like this. So this color is technically done so I'm going to snip it. I'm gonna show you how to fasten off the yarn 
at this point. So this will be the only time I show it in today's tutorial. We are changing the color a few times here. And you are going to just join it with the tapestry needle for the best result and turn it to the back side so there's no flower section out here in the back and just turn it over and just go through about an inch or so in one direction. Stay away from the edge so you don't mess with that and go through a different path the second time and then back through the different path third time. And therefore you're good to go. If you did go over your straggler you can safely cut that out and therefore here is your textured interior. So just kind of form it and you're ready to go and move on to the fourth round. So if you've been following this stitch along the fourth round has been the same for each one of them. So just attach to any one of the double crochets that you have and we're going to start immediately and attach. And I want you to chain three which counts as your first double crochet and then double crochet into that same one once again. So here is the side. So there's going to be one half double crochet by itself and then there's going to be uh, three single crochets in a row. So one, two and three and then there's gonna be a half double crochet by itself and then you got your first corner already. So in the next one there will be two double crochets. So one and two, chain two and then in the same one two double crochets once again. So you're gonna start your next side that you have. So it's just one half double crochet by itself and then three single crochets in a row. So one, two, three and then you have a half double crochet and then another corner. So two double crochet, chain two, two double crochet and you're gonna do this all the way around and I'll see you at the end of this round. And at the end of this round as well we are going to be breaking this color onto something new moving on to the color B. So as you come around I have my last half double crochet in there but I have to finish this first corner. So you're going to slam in two double crochet first and then uh, do a half double crochet um, join. So just going into the top. So wrap the hook going into the top, pull through and then pull through all three loops and that's a half double crochet join. So I want you to fasten this yarn off and we're moving to the color B in just a moment. Let's begin round number five. We're going to start off in any chain two space corner and we're just going to join and we're going to chain three. That's your first double crochet and you are going to double crochet again. So we need to start this row off before the repeat starts. So we're going to double crochet into the first one and then the repeat until the next corner will start from this point. Skipping the next stitch out, double crochet into the next one after that and then double crochet into the one that you just skipped and we're gonna continue to do that then to the, all the way to the next corner. So let's review that again. So skipping the next one, double crochet into the one after it and then coming into the one that you skipped. I, I like to accessing them from behind but if you think it's easier from the front you can do that too. You can decide. So skipping the next one, double crochet, come back to the one that you skipped and then this is the one before the corner. Go to the back of the one that you skipped and then start your corner. So the corners will be the same as two double crochet chain two, two double crochet and then we start another side. So we have to start with the first one just being by itself and then you can start the fun stuff. So skipping the next one, double crochet in the one after it and then come back to the one that you skipped. And I need you to do this all the way around. This is round number five and we're going to continue this color on into round number six. When you come around to number five you are just going to put two double crochet in the very beginning one that you started and then do a half double crochet join then to the top of the chain three. Let's move on to round number six in just a moment. Let's begin round number six. You're going to chain three which counts as a double crochet and you're going to double crochet again in the same. Now last time we did one double crochet that was sitting by itself before you start the crisscross. In this round it's the last one before the corner that will be sitting by itself. So keep an eye on that. Skipping the first one out you're going to double crochet the second one over and then come back and get the one you skipped. 
and so this is a crisscross you'll continue to do that across. So uh, skip the next one out, make sure it's this one and then going into here. So then just do that. So what I'll do is I'll meet you just before the corner to make sure that you've got it done right. So just keep an eye on your stitches and keep crisscrossing until the stitch before the corner. So I'm continuing to crisscross. So I officially did it. I have one stitch left over which I should and so that will be one by itself. Then you start your corner and with two double crochet, chain two and two double crochet. Then you'll start again. So you'll immediately crisscross. So skipping the first one out, go to the second and then coming to the one that you skipped and you'll do that all the way across. Again the last stitch before the corner will be one by itself and then you'll do your corner as you know it. So I'll see you at the end of round number six in just a moment. So I'm coming around to the end of number six. There's one by itself. Finish off that final corner. So two double crochet and then do a half double crochet join. That was round number six. We're gonna continue this color on again into round number seven. So round number seven is done just like round number five. You're going to chain three and you're going to double crochet in the first space. So this time the one that's gonna sit by itself is at the beginning of the side. So it's one by itself and then you start the crisscross once again. So skip in the next one, double crochet and then come back to the one you skipped. So then you'll do the crisscross all the way to the uh, end. Then your corners will be two double crochet, chain two, two double crochet. The first one will be one by itself and then you'll start your crisscrossing again. This is round number seven. I'll see you at the end of this round. So I'm coming up to the end of number seven and I'm just filling in the final space with two double crochet and then do a half double crochet join to the top of the chain three. So let's get rid of this color. You already know how to fasten off. I showed you and we'll move on to round number eight and just begin round number eight using the color C in my case rose. So we're going to start off in any chain two space corner. That includes that half double crochet join. That's a chain two space and you can do um, a standing single crochet. So to do that just put this onto the hook going in, pull through and then pull through two and that's a standing single crochet. Now you're going to do one single crochet in each of the stitches going all the way across and then in the corners on this one you're going to put in one single crochet, chain two, one single crochet. So I want you to do, do this all the way around for number eight. I'll see you at the end of number eight in just a moment. When you get to the number eight, the end of number eight just come in, single crochet in the last one and then just join with the half double crochet. Let's get rid of this yarn and move on to number nine using the color A. Let's begin number nine using the color A and we are going to slip stitch into any chain two space corner and chain three. So one, two, three. There's your first double crochet and then double crochet once again. So you have two double crochets in the corner. We'll finish that corner when we get back around. Now for this particular side here we're going to do one double crochet into the next stitch and then we're gonna do one double treble into the next stitch. So to do a double, tre so a treble, so once is a double twice is a treble, three times is a double treble. So Jeannie wants us to put in a double a treble. So it's wrapping three times into the next stitch. And then you'll notice that the repeating pattern is going to begin to start. This is going to create a little bit of texture that will jump out towards you. So to continue this we're now going to start with the repeat pattern to the side, uh, to the next uh, corner. So it will be one double crochet in each of the next two just pop that treble towards you and then it's gonna be a double treble into the next. One, two, three. And then the next two are two double crochets in a row. So what I want you to do is that I'll continue this into the first corner and just make sure that you finish off the side right and just pop those uh, double trebles towards you on the front side and I'll see you at the end of this first side. So I'm just coming to the first corner. The last stitch before the end is a double treble. So wrap that hook three times and then you're going to start that corner. So the corner is what you already know. It's going to be two double crochet and then chain two and two double crochet. So you'll start the next side just how you started the other one. So it's going to be one double crochet by itself in the first one 
and then you'll start with your double trebles again. So wrap in three times and then you'll put two, to, uh, two uh, double crochets in a row and then another double treble. So you're gonna do that all the way around and so if you're doing it correctly the last stitch before the corner turn is a double treble and then you do your corners two double crochet chain two two double crochet and I will see you at the end of this round and we will finish off this color and finish with the color C at the end. So when you're coming all the way back around the last one is a double treble just before you finish and then the last space is two double crochet and then a half double crochet join to conclude off number nine. We're going to move on to the final round this morning and it will be um, using the color C. So let's uh, change out our yarn and let's do that final round. Let's do the final round number 10 using the color C. In my case it will be rows. So I'm going to then just come into the chain two space corner. Do a standing single crochet which I've already shown before and it's one single crochet in each of the stitches all the way to the next corner. Corners are one single crochet, chain two, one single crochet and I'll see you at the end of round number 10 in just a moment. So when you come all the way back around you're just going into that last one and just do a half double crochet join. Then you can just uh, secure off this yarn. This is it for today. You need to do five of these for the full size blanket that Jeannie has done. Now the next video for me in the sequence is that I'm going to start joining. So before I start joining I would wanna block my square so I would take a steamer to it or you can damp block it. Just lay them out flat and uh, just um, we have videos on blocking as well if you're interested in that and that's kind of fun. So this is the Thursday Square by Jeannie and we're gonna continue along. Um, got some cool ideas in this particular one. We uh, use those trebles for the lifts. We have a nice center that is just popping off and it's really quite fun. So that's it for now and I'll see you again next time.